Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Island. <clears throat> uh, yeah, our normally scheduled Let's Play is not happening right this very second because there's a problem with the recording software, uh, and this game does not use the same recording software as the emulator game. It's a bit weird. Anyway, point is, we're playing The Island some more. Uh, since the last time I played, I actually had a opportunity to uh, uh, play at least one game uh, just on my own. And turns out the one time I actually just played totally independently uh, was the time that it I did really well and basically had like a really successful run, uh, did not die. But I actually am giving up that run without having died uh, after about three days in order to record this because I didn't want to record a game that was already, you know, pretty much in a really good position uh, in, because it was not really as interesting. Uh, but yeah, I know a lot more about this game than I had prior. Ooh, hold on, those medical herbs. Yeah, they're medical herbs. So as it turns out, you can totally avoid the attention of the tribesmen uh, for a lot, like, Pretty effectively, actually, like more effectively than you'd imagine. They do not inherently start out knowing where you are. Oh wow, this place is amazing! Bunch of bushes and trees and stuff. That's what that is. I don't. Ooh, that's not good. That's super not great, huh? Yeah. So I was gonna say was that. Uh, it's entirely possible to avoid the attention of the tribesmen altogether for a really long time. Of course, that is going under the assumption that I start out in a place where I had less uh, less exposure. Yikes. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, but I found out how to how to do uh, things like build a survival shelter and uh, how to chop down trees and build rabs and do all sorts of useful things. So I'm feeling a lot more confident th uh, this time than I have in any previous run. Of course, to make it interesting, I'm, as I have with the last two runs, uh, prepared some alcohol to go along with this playthrough so that I'm not really playing at my best. Uh, is that a... That's a village. Huh. Yeah, so there's a number of random places that you can start, uh, spawned at, and, uh, this one appears to be right nearby the, uh, the camp of, uh, the creepy, uh, cannibalistic natives. I don't have my lighter. I don't believe I have any sorts of light. No, I do have my lighter. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, double shit. That's so not good. Okay. This could go better. Fuck you. You. Oh, I'm dead. Well, that... <clears throat> yeah, so much for that whole I'm going to be totally fine and not have any sort of problems thing, because that's clearly not happening. Ah, balls. Balls, balls, balls. Great. Fuck you. Yeah, that is definitely a horrifying monster thing. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to turn on my lighter. Because then, horrifying monster creature is going to spot me. Uh, balls, balls, balls. Jesus Christ, this is unbelievable. I can't believe I actually started in a place where I basically died. You know what? Fuck it. I'm restarting. I'm just no, no, fuck you. Fuck you.
So, uh, yeah, that was a <laughs> hilarious failure, and I really wish I, could, uh, wish I could skip through this initial cutscene. Uh, there's a user submission form on the website of the developers, and they actually, like, one of the big suggestions is option to skip opening cutscene. Because it's not very long, but in a survival game like this, it's a little bit annoying if you die super early like I just did. Uh, to have to sit through an unstable cutscene. Yeah, even one that is really short. Because this is like a minute at most. Hmm. Anyway, I think if I looked out the window, I might be able to actually get a better idea as to where I'm actually starting. Because obviously last time that was kind of not so great. Uh... I know, for some reason, that one guy, like, all the rest of them, they really freaked me out. That one guy does not come off as creepy to me. He comes off as kind of, I don't know, nice. No idea why. No idea why. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, just gonna grab a bunch of shit. Funny thing is, I didn't actually do this before. Like, this is the, the last time I died, uh, was the first time I had actually tried doing this. And I've never seen this PDA before, so, all cool stuff. So obviously that initial group of tribesmen that I ran into were obviously the people coming to investigate the plane. Uh, as I said, they do come to look at, uh, to investigate. So I've got a limited amount of time to, uh, just grab as much as I can from here. I'm really hoping to get a flashlight in this initial, uh, set of things before I, ha uh, move on. Because a flashlight's super good. Okay. So that's not a flashlight, these are... Oh, I'm right next to a survivor camp. Uh, so these are areas where I assume other people had actually survived the crash and may have got out before me. Like, there's kind of an assumption that maybe, just maybe, uh, you've been, you, me, us, the player, uh, has actually been unconscious for multiple days uh, leading up to uh, him actually waking up and that all of this like uh, the fact that he's the last survivor has less to do with him being the only survival, uh, survivor of the plane crash and more to do with the fact that he's the only one uh, that for some reason while he was knocked out he wasn't grabbed uh, and that, uh, a lot of these other, you know, all, a lot of these other, like, dead people on the island are actually not just random campers, but possibly other plane survivors. Now, not, I'm not sure if I'd necessarily buy that notion, if only just because I think it kind of clashes with one important detail, which is that, uh, the other, like, the, uh, the natives come to investigate you, Immediately. This is another place I've never started at. Again, I haven't really played that many runs through this game. It's pretty much just been the two you saw as the initial run, the one you saw as the uh, uh, first part of the, the full let's play, and then there was uh, the one uh, that I just died in, and then one I played off camera. So obviously there's a lot more uh, starting locations than just uh, the ones that I've seen so far, which is great. I like seeing that. Uh, it's not really fully roguelike, but it's kind of roguelike elements, and I love me some roguelikes. Anyway, what I was going to say was uh, the fact that the plane, uh, the natives come to the plane crash site uh, very early on. Oh my god, Rainbow! Aww. Uh, the fact that they come to the plane site immediately tells me that the plane just crashed, uh, which, you know, obviously to me implies that, uh, yeah, Molotov cocktails, it's awesome. Uh, so you combine booze and cloth to make Molotovs. And if I run into any trouble with the natives, I can always pull one of those out and uh, have myself a bit of an advantage. Anyway, so what was it? Yeah, right, so basically the fact that the natives come right into the plane suggests that they're coming to investigate the plane because it just crashed. And that would mean that Obviously, you couldn't have been knocked out in the plane for all that long 
Because otherwise, why would they be only now just coming to investigate if the plane had been there long enough for other survivors to uh, set up camps, be killed, and, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> this doesn't seem to really function for me, like, work out that way for me. But I have heard that theory, and I thought it was kind of an interesting theory, so I decided to uh, mention it to you guys. So this is kind of interesting. I'm sort of on Alco between two different islands. Uh, seem to have been able to avoid that initial uh, search party, which is good, though I'm not really so... Ooh. That's definitely someone out there in the distance. Hmm. Hmm. Now there's two ways you can kind of go about this. You can try and be sneaky sneaky and avoid conflict with the tribe as long as possible. Or, uh, he might have seen me. I think he saw me. Uh, if they see you, they will come looking for you. Like, the, uh, the, the, the tribe will come looking for you. And again, you can t play it one of two ways. You can either kind of try and keep out their line of sight, you know, play it careful, play it quiet, be, uh, be cautious and sneaky, or you can try and intimidate them, you know, really go after them, hit them hard, kill them, build a fortification, make them know that you are the boss of this island. Okay, so there's patrol, and they, they're not looking in my direction. So I think I might be okay for right now. Uh, now, obviously, because it's more interesting, I'm probably going to play more aggressively. Like, I, as I said, I just survived recently doing a multi-day run uh, where I was playing very quiet, very sneaky, you know, refusing to get involved with the tribes as long as possible. And that worked out pretty well, but it also, you know, didn't really... It wasn't as exciting. There was less action, adventure, really wild stuff that I'm sure you guys would much rather see. Following areas... Oh, what about that? Available in this build of the game. Check back soon. Okay. So they seem to be worshipping at that, uh, that thing over there, so... Since I can't swim over to that island yet, and, and they did actually mention in the roadmap for this game's development that they had uh, more areas of the island they wanted to uh, unlock over time. You know, essentially, like once they kind of get a little further into Alpha, uh, one thing they want to work on is making uh, bigger and better uh, bits of the island, like make the make the island larger with more stuff on it. So not only are we going to get, like, more tools and more gear and more things to survive on, these berries are poisonous. I'm going to chop that down and get some leaves. Uh, instead of that, we're, sorry, in, in addition to that sort of stuff, we're also going to get just playing out more area, which is honestly something I love. I like that. Yep. So the, little, uh, the blueberries do not have those little leaves on them. That's, uh, that's a trick I learned. Uh... The blueberries, you can tell because they are, obviously, they look like blueberries and they're slightly different colored and they have uh, just a little patch of berries rather than a big clump of, uh, so, ooh, lizard. Kill me, lizard! Yes! Awesome. And uh, then I'll put on this thing because apparently, lizard skin, you get to rub it all over your arms and you're tougher. Tougher for it. I was going to have yeah, some medicine. Yeah, I'm going to take some meds right off the bat just because if I run to the tribals, I want to be able to fight them. I want to be able to say, you know what? Screw you. These colors don't run. Jump into this water real quick, see if I can find... Oh, there's a boat out here. I'm guessing there's no sharks in the uh, the pond, right? Yeah, that's, you know, not a thing that I'd imagine. Uh, man, now I'm, now I'm getting all worried. Like, this is super dumb, because, like, again, it's, like, so unlikely. But, uh, yeah, maybe I would to survive out, uh, particularly nasty fight. I could probably get out of here and defend myself, uh, by attacking people in the water. It's a thought, at least. It's more of my alcohol. 
Mm. Uh, don't drink, kids. It's bad for you. Uh, <clears throat> it is also really bad for your for your wallet because alcohol is expensive. So yeah, if you uh, if you're concerned about monetary uh, your monetary situation, don't drink or smoke or do anything like that because it'll it'll drain your wallet. It'll drain your wallet super fast. I mean, obviously that's not really the main reason you shouldn't do stuff like that, but. You know, if you're not going to think about it in terms of health concerns, keep in mind that it does that it's not free. It's not a free vice. Uh, anyway. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to eat mushrooms. Uh, that is, like, such a bad idea. Just eating random mushrooms out in the, in the forest. Like, I, I have friends who, uh, who are, like, big into mushrooms. Like, not, not, not the... Not like, you know, drug mushrooms. I'm talking about like actual mushrooms that people uh, cook and eat. Um, so there's a fish in this pond. So this, is a, this is a fishing pond. If I could get a spear, I could spear fish out of here. That'd be great. Unfortunately, I'm only seeing kind of sticks. Now, unfortunately, you can't make a stick. You can't make a your own uh, spear. But like, this is a point to keep in mind, because this place is, uh, this place could end up being useful. Also, do I have a map? No, I don't seem to have a map. I, I would love to have a map. Alright, so I'm tired and I'm hungry, so I want to just build a little campsite here in the deep underbrush. Looks safe enough. I don't like being this exposed, but I mean, I guess if I can't be on the uh, beach in a rock shelter, I might as well set myself up somewhere really, really deep in the underbrush. So let's see here. Can I even build this fully yet? No, I cannot. What I can do is I can eat a candy bar. Because. Well, honestly, I don't have any other food. Sad as that is. No, I want to pick up a stick. I don't want to pick up more rocks. Can't even carry more rocks. Yeesh. There we go. Stick, stick. I'm just tossing sticks everywhere right now. I'm I'm a terrible survivalist. Okay, come on. Pick up sticks. See, I figured out this whole survival strategy for, for surviving out in the woods. I mean, sorry, for surviving out on the coast. I'm all like, oh yeah, now I'm going to show everyone at home what a huge badass I am. Um, oh, this is not actually me. Oosh. Anyway, I was all like, yeah, I'm going to show everyone what a huge badass I am and how well I can survive and make up for those hilarious failures from before. And uh, then I end up in the middle of the woods, and I have no real survival strategy for dealing with this. There you go, so I sleep. Personally, I slept now in the middle of the woods at night. Gonna sleep again. And please don't get murdered as soon as I wake up. Okay. Okay. I'm being paranoid. I'm deep in the underbrush. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on sleeping till morning. All right. It is not morning, it is a yeah, very dull dawn. So dark I can't see a damn thing. I don't think I can even sleep anymore because I'm so... No, I can't sleep again. I was wrong. So I, can, all right, I can't really sleep for very long because I'm probably too hungry. Which is a shame because it is now pitch black out. 
or well not really but it's very very dark god I feel so exposed out here can't cook a lizard because I don't have any fire all I can do is just eat these candy bars Oh man, this is so not going well. Okay, it's now kind of dawn out. I'm lost in the woods. My whole beach strategy for building a beachside retreat and holding out against the hordes of the, uh, of the monster cannibal people is falling apart because I don't have a beach. I have no idea where the beach is. The only place I've found is even remotely beach-like is... Uh-oh. Oh, it's just the sun reflecting on the water. As I'm just still alone. Alone out in the woods with nothing but people out for my blood. That's fine. I should probably leave this location though. Well, that pond is nice, there's no food supplies out here. I should also probably do it quietly. No point in alerting anyone. Uh, I'll tell you, sometimes it's not so great being a lone survivor. In fact, uh, dare say, most of the time it's not so great being a lone survivor. Oh shit. It's tribal patrol. I don't think they've seen me. But I'm going to go in the other direction. I see absolutely no reason to... give me reason to... Be able to spot me. Oh, jeez. Okay. As I said, I'll, I'll fight them. I just want to fight them on my own terms. On the beach. Where I can see them. Where, where I'm not completely surrounded by trees. And where every shadow seems to be jumping out at me. Is that them or is that a tree? Yeah, that was a tree. What the? Is that no, no, it's more trees. You're being paranoid. God damn it! Keep yourself together, man. A fair fight. That's all I want. You give me that, and I'll take them all. I mean, okay, yeah, I lost that fair fight at the beginning, but. Well, shut up. There was a lot of them, and, and I screwed up my blocking. I should have blocked. I know that now. If you give me another shot at it, another fair fight, I'll show them all. Oh, crap. That's a huge cliffside. Where I'm likely to die if I try jumping off. Wait, crap, what's that over there? Is that a cannibal? What about behind me? No, it was a tree. Damn these trees. Oh jeez. That was almost me also falling to my death. Ow. Okay. Didn't actually take any damage there. It's a shortfall. Got no energy. No food. What the... Uh, need to prepare a fire and cook this lizard. God knows it's the only substance I have on me. I was in those delicious fishies that I can't get at. But, ah, it's just the rain. Again, you're being paranoid. Merely the rain. Uh, you sons of bitches. 
It's, it's, like, it's one of their villages. Oh, damn it, I came all the way around to one of their villages. Cole must have been moving away from the village, not towards it. Damn! Damn! I finally find the beach, but it's so close. So close to that damnable village. Curses! Alright, if I can get on the other side of that beach now... Oh, uh -huh, here's an idea. Here's a trick I found out. They don't like the idea of you messing with their dead. Okay, I can't actually... Okay, well, if you kill them, you can chop up their bodies and make effigies to scare them away. A little psychological warfare, eh? Unfortunately, it seems like I'm... Well... Probably not going to be able to use that one, but that's fine. That's fine. I got more candy bars. Kept me fed for the time being. There's little to replenish my food, but it does a lot to replenish my energy. Yes. Yeah, some. I. Ooh, I forgot to make Molotovs and stuff. No, I didn't. There we go. Yeah, I've still got those Molotovs. They won't mess with me, they're gonna have another thing coming. And that other thing is gonna be an axe to the face. Time being though, let's set up a base camp. Here's the location. I can set up a fire all the way out here. Oh, the anchor! I do know this location. So I didn't spawn that far away from the place I spawned in the, uh, that time I did actually pretty well. Uh, there's a fishing, sp there should be a fishing, no wait, or is it, is it different this time? I don't know. Oh man, this tree. Hmm. That does not exactly bode well. Can I, can I go on a crazy assumption and say that this might be a place that they come to? Every now and again. There. I bet if I set up a camp there, I'd have a pretty good defensive location. You wouldn't be able to really see me as well. So that's what I think I'm going to do. It's a little out of the way, but... It does sort of defeat my original idea of uh, going straight out aggressive, but... This place should allow me to get away from, you know being super obvious right off the get-go. Still be kind of obvious. They'll still sort of be in a place where they can see me, but... This way, I at least have something. I can put up with some of this stuff there. So I need some logs, obviously, but that's fine. Meantime, also going to begin work on a proper fireplace. I need lots of sticks and lots of rocks. But if I'm right, there should be a fishing spear down by this camp over here, and there's all these fishies here. All these delicious fishies that are going to feed me. Mmm, fishies. Mmm. Again, not what I call a perfect situation, but, but, I'm going to make it work. It's going to be all right. It's going to be just okay. Let's see here. Yes! Ditching spear! Ha! Ah, oh, my luck is turning around already. Hmm. And there's the effigies over there. Yeah, so when I do go aggressive, and I will. Trust me, I will. I'm not going to deny you guys a proper fight. When I do go aggressive, though, it's going to be on my terms. I'm going to go right over there to where there's those things. I'm going to go over there to the people who are working out all that creepy bullshit, and I'm going to teach them what for. And what for is my axe in their face. Yeah. Show them some good old-fashioned American justice. That's right, pinkos. You're going to face the wrath of Duhod, master of America.
and blueberries. Delicious, delicious blueberries. Mmm. Mmm, those blueberries are delicious. You have no idea. Ooh, and some rocks for my fortification. Check this out. I'm going to chop down this tree. Uh, yeah, chop down this tree properly this time. See that? See that? Oh man, isn't that so much better than that uh, horrible job of chopping down a tree that was from the first video? Yeah, that is some satisfactory chopping. Timber! Woo, America! Still kind of can look a little bit goofy when it falls apart like that, but hey, whatever. Now I got a couple of logs. I'll need eight in total before I'm able to build my base properly, but this will do. This will start us out. I think if I chop down two trees, that should be enough to set up my basic camping camp. And this location is secluded enough that I should be able to set it up and be safe as long as I don't attract attention back to it. Of course, eventually they will find me out, especially if I start getting aggressive with them. But, but, by the time they do, I'm going to be able to build, like, a wall around here and, like, really make this a defensive location. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be good. And I got fish in this area, so I can make the defense location that even has a, uh, you know, form of uh, food that's, you know, pretty accessible. This will be great, because that is a pretty big issue. Of course, I need to work quickly, because if night falls before I've got a shelter put up, then that's going to be really crappy. Uh, same goes for food. I mean, luckily I've got these berries to keep me going for the time being, but I'm still going to need more. Oh, shit. I am not ready for that. I don't know if they spotted me. Shit. I need those logs. I need to build my camp. They're still there. Shit. I might have learned them. I see the logs that are going to know that something's up. Still over there. And sometimes the animations get a little glitchy looking, which is a bit silly. But, uh, yeah. I'm positive they saw that other log over there. Damn them. I don't really want to alert the entire tribe to my presence yet. However, they did notice. Hmm, they're still over there. They might come after me, and it might be better just to go after them. Damn it. Yeah, see, he's right there. You kind of look right above where my axe is. He's like right... See, he's kind of on the, t the, the blade of my axe. You're having trouble seeing him. Ugh. I still need another large number of logs mm. standing there. Oh, that's so not good. Yeah, if, they, if they knew where I was, they probably wouldn't be sitting so far back. However, they clearly are alerted enough that they're suspicious. My other log. Hey, sweet turtle. I need to at least chop down one more tree to get enough logs. I need another stick and another rock as well before I can set up my campfire. This is going to be essential for preparing food for tonight. Damn them. Damn, they're miserable tribal 
stupid faces. God. Maybe I'm far enough away that I can kind of sneak around. I at least get... I need to at least get the the campfire set up. The, Obviously, I really want to get that uh, base camp built because otherwise I can't save and I can't uh, I can't sleep, which allows you to save and get yourself rested and get through the night without incident, uh, theoretically. But but if it came down to a choice between being able to eat and being able to comfortably make it through the night, I'd rather be able to eat. Slightly higher priority at the time being. But they are not moving. Maybe they didn't spot me. Maybe they're just conducting some sort of ritual or something? Apparently they do conduct like religious rituals and whatnot. What are you doing? God, I wish I had a magnifying glass. So helpful. I'm so open, too. Like, if they just looked in this direction, they'd probably see me. Damn it. Ugh, whatever, fine. I'll treat for the time being, and hopefully they'll have moved on by nightfall, and I'll be able to sneak out there and get another log before the rest of the uh, tribe comes out hunting. Because they're much more aggressive at night. Hmm. Yeah, and I've got a pretty good place back here. Even if they do come after me, I should be able to see them coming. Now I can cook this lizard. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Lizard goodness. Ah, it's gonna be good eating. I stick with the lizard, though. That tasty treat isn't going to watch itself. Got to drink water. Well, there's... All lost to here. Mm -mm -mm. That is some finger-licking lizardy goodness. Delicious. Still need another four logs, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least one tree's worth, though. If I can get those two remaining bits, I could probably get a small tree and be fine. I wonder if those tribesmen have moved on yet. I mean, probably not, let's be honest, but you know, we'll find out. Uh, if, I, if I can't, I can always just get a tree from further down the beach and maybe very slowly transfer it. Obviously, that's not really what I want to do, but... Ooh, are they gone? Don't see them. No, they seem to have moved on. I keep my eyes open, because they could be around anywhere. But... Yeah, the problem with being so close to their village is that I never feel entirely safe, but having said that, I think I'm okay now. Let's just drop this log and quickly chop down another tree. They do notice when you, like, cut down all their trees and shit, like, they start to realize that there must be a human presence in the area. They're pretty smart that way, but I don't really have much of a choice. I need a tree. I need shelter. Yeah. If they're still around. They noticed that. And, uh, probably that glitchy, glitchy uh, log effect as well. That was pretty silly. Yeah, fortunately I have enough energy left in me to uh, run these logs back. Yeah, see, if they get close enough to here, they will see that light during the night. 
My hope is that they won't come down this far down the beach. Especially if I can move all those logs out. Even the ones I'm not planning on using, just get them out of the line of sight. Though, at this point, honestly, that's probably more effort than it's worth. There's a good chance they've, you know, if they, uh, know, then they know. If they don't, hopefully they... Oop. They know! Oh boy, how do they know? What's up, assholes? Fuck you! Fuck you, buddy! Fuck you, too! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see me? I see you. Huh? Huh. Okay. Yeah. You want... Ah, oh, fuck. They got me. I should have used the Molotov. Well, crap. Well, you know what? Fuck you. You want to make this fun? Let's make this fucking fun. Uh, game seems to be freezing. There it is. Yeah, hey! You remember me, asshole? I remember you. Ow. Okay. That was dumb. Oh, it looks like when I set, when I kept on trying to sleep to get to daytime, I accidentally slept what, too long and slept for three full days. Derp. Well, there you have it. A slightly less pathetic, though still monstrously pathetic attempt to play the island uh, sorry the forest i can only call it the island anyway that was another completely failed attempt to play the forest but i hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and i'll probably see you guys for more of the forest when version 0 0.04 comes out meantime stay tuned because we will be back to a regularly scheduled let's play later this week promise <laughs>